Hi, I'm Phil Bridges, owner of Straight Arrow Repair. Ever want to know how a repairman fixes things? Well, come with me and I'll show you how I solve problems. Let's make things better together. Alright, this kind of uh, tub faucet, we've got to take this one off because we're going to take all this uh, board that they put up to be waterproof. That cap of faucet, we'll have to go to the back side to disconnect it. And there's a nut on the shower head also, so let's go back and room next to the door. Sometimes it's a whole sheet of drywall that you pull off, but in this case, it's just some small pieces that are stripped out and screws. Wow, fumbleina. Look in here. Let me turn the light on. There's a nut right here. So you'll need to tighten that up if you have a, see how they put a piece of wood in there to support it so the drywall wouldn't pull out. But we're going to pull that loose. So we can pull that shower head out, which is not hooked up to anything. Do it's going to be a pain in the butt. Do you go over there and hold it? No. I say I will, but we'll see. In here, I have a nut there to take loose. All this has got to be taken loose. It's all been disconnected, but I got to get it out of there so that it won't hold me from pulling that panel. So Need to zoom in there, take a look at it. All right, so. <clears throat> I guess we can just show you guys later the results because it's just boring watching me stick my hand in here. What? All right, so to give you an idea of what you, if you're gonna replace one of these, uh, mobile home faucets don't have to have a mobile home faucet you could have something else but if you don't replace the tub surround you'll have to deal with these holes if you don't use a mobile home faucet so why often people go back these are really cheapy plastic they last for a long time though uh, sometimes anyway the way they're held on is there's a, a nut usually a plastic nut right here that holds it to the drywall. This, in this case, they have a steel washer and a piece of paneling, and then that nut there. Then the shower part, in this case, goes up like so, and it fastens right there. And then it goes up to the shower, and that usually has a chrome nut. If you notice, there's threads right here. They're larger than these back here. So what they do is they run the nut right here until it, you know, they got enough room to get the drywall and then they can put that chrome big plastic nut right there. And uh, this has to be tightened on it also. This is all uh, what they call Quest fittings. And uh, the real trick is you don't want to over tighten. You do want it tight and you do want to seal around all of that. Uh, 
generally I, when I'm rebuilding the tub and tub surround, I replace it with a house type sh uh, shower head and with a, which has a, what they call a, um, has three screws and it's called a drop ear. Yeah, you go drop your elbow. Uh, and then the, and it requires a piece of wood behind it to fasten to, and then the faucet will require whatever it is, uh, some piece of wood to fasten to also. So I don't normally, unless the customer's on a budget, then I don't put these back in. I go to something better with a new tub surround. And that's what we're doing here. We're actually putting in a cast iron tub. But we're going to take this stuff off. And in order to do that, I had to pull the faucet off, which had to go anyway. So just to let you know what you might get into changing the faucet. This is Phil Bridges. If you like what you saw, you think it might be helpful to somebody else, push that like button and let other people know what you and I now know. And we'll work together toward making a brighter future. And by the way, we're not Americans, we're Americans. See you next time.